Let's start with Austin today. I think Austin was last yesterday, so let's start with him today. Austin, go ahead. What do you have for showing? All right, all right. Ooh, and what is I know who that is. Ooh, ooh, call on me, Austin. Call on me. Okay, that is Yogi Bear's little guy, or it's Scrappy Doo. His little Yogi Bear's little friend. Yeah, and I can't remember his name. What What's is his name, Austin? Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Oh, I have flunked the ODs. <gasps> Our dog is named Yogi Bear. That's You're cool. right. Yogi Bear. Very cool. There used to be a, uh, awesome. a Yogi Bear campground in Madison that we would go to. Uh -huh. It's now changed names, but he got that at the camp store. Oh, as they were gonna close it, uh huh. I saw this and I was like, you know, I should get it before somebody else does. So I grabbed it and. No, don't say you grabbed it. It sounds like you stole it. Oh no, mom and dad bought it for you. We bought it, <laughs> and he had like a tag on his ear, and you. Had to pull it out. Oh my goodness! Was, you don't have a tag on your ear. <laughs> that would be crazy. Um. Uh. Let's see. What was I going to ask about Boo Boo? I I was the second one last. Uh. Yes. That's okay. You will get it. We will get. We're going to swing around this way today. All right. Um. Austin, do you know how long ago you got Boo Boo? Was it? Two years or I, five years? Two years. Two years. Two years. Because we went and we had to get something from the camp store. Mm -hmm. And when I saw it, I think it was bug spray, wasn't it? Bug spray. We had to get bug spray because the bugs there are like really bad. Great memory. The gnats are just, they drive you crazy. You like really they can't see them. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. And uh, we, and we were next to this one campsite and they had like this um, tent, you know, that, mm -hmm. they, that you could put over the picnic table. And so we got one and we put it under the uh, picnic table so the bugs don't get our Food. Very cool. Damien, you're up. Show us what you got, friend. Uh, this is a print one or print two? Because there's two of them that I need must show. What you got? What you got? Kind of like this is not mine, but it's a shirt. Technically, my grandmother, but I count it as. Oh, I thought that that was. Well, Ooh. look at that. Oh, that's neat. Oh, are those all dolls? Look at them. Yeah, and down here is my copy. All right. Very pretty. Those dolls. Awesome. That looks There's like a dog. There's a oh. <laughs> Yay! I love the what's the lizard frog thing kind of down in there. Uh, I don't know. Wait, I think I see. Do I see nut brown hair in there, or is that velveteen rabbit? And I see Barbies, and I see Nutcracker. Oh my goodness, that's so cool! Yeah. Very cool. Wow. I love you. Very cool. Right. This is Leia. What have you got to show us today? I have another crate what I'll show you. Today I got this was shown too. Oh, I love it. Aww. Looks like a unicorn. A unicorn. Here it is. Oh. 
I love it. What is its name? Its name is. Its name is um, glittery sparkles. Glittery sparkles. That is very nice. I love it. Love it. And you see a head done in the in the back. Oh, really nice. How long have you had that? Um, not too long ago. Not too long ago. I really like it. I like it. Do you? Oh, and here's some hair that's in front. Oh. Which I use for like this. There you go. Mm -hmm. Soft. Soft. Sometimes I put it in a run. Kind of mm -hmm. looks like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> a mohawk. Like my chicken with a little mohawk right up on top. See? Mm -hmm. Very good. And just oh, like that's I like your bow. I already have the page. I like your bow. It's pretty. Oh, your hair bow, Tislea? She likes your hair bow. There Thank we go. You. Very nice. Very nice. Well, you know what? I did not come prepared for you until today. I was thinking about getting my books turned in. So I guess my show and tell today is a tell. And I get to have a nice luncheon with all my friends tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing the Cedar Creek teacher. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> and um, actually, I got this. I got this at um one one of the um la, one of the almost last month. Almost last? of the nineteenth. Wow. Two thousand nineteen. You guys have good memories. Austin could remember too. Dang, you know. Me too. Things. You guys are very, very smart. Okay, let's switch up now and come over to this. This is the test. Some of you, Austin, you've already done it. Already done I'm it. trying to find a great pencil. Yeah, I already found the pencil. Do uh, okay. you like this pencil instead? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. it has purple and green. All right. Okay. So here we go. We're going to work on our English test. If you've already done it, just check it over. You sit in and check it over. Okay? Just chill. Ready? Okay. Now here's what I want you to know. If we read the directions for the first part, um, Let's read the, let's have Austin read the directions for the per, first part. Um, mark, the, mark the sentence that is complete and write written, written correctly. What does that mean? What is the big word that starts with an S that we use to talk about sentence? Super sentence. Yes, sir. Super sentence. Uh, actually, a super C sentence, but we'll talk about. It. I know only only two of them. Only two of them is gonna be right. All right, Moni. You can go, Moni. Yeah, yeah. I was just playing. Do you know what the S stands for in super sentence? Yes. What? It stands for. I I forgot the word. Subject. 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 Subject is who or what's doing it. What oh. does the U stand for? Today I'm going to use this pencil. Damien, what does the U stand for in a super sentence? Uppercase. Uppercase. Every sentence starts with an uppercase letter. If it doesn't start with it, it's not a super sentence. Awesome. I know what oh, the P for. I know. I know the first one. P stands for predicate. Yes, sir. Predicate. That's what's going to be Mr. Morton. Remember, Mr. Morton, and what the predicate says. Uh, Mr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. Well, we watched a video about Mr. Morton and subject and predicates. You might not have joined us before that. We'll have to watch it again. Um, oh, I watched. I have. It's a yeah. It's a schoolhouse. 
Okay. Ask me later, I'll have Which episode? Very cool. What does the E stand for, Tislea? The E in our super sentence. What does that stand for? It stands for the A and A. And what does every sentence have an, at the end? An end mark? End mark. End mark. End. I only, I, and if there's a P, it, sometimes periods go in at the end of a sentence. Times a period. A and the pen, end mark. Very good. Very good. But we can't put P because it's already a predicate. And not always, not every sentence ends with a period. Some can end with an exclamation mark. Some, some can be going on sentences if oh. nobody puts a period. There you go. That's right. That's why you need them. And the R, Austin, what does the R stand for in the super sentence? It stands for if it's right. If it's right. If it sounds right to your ear. All right. And Damien, I see that page you're holding up. I like that page. And Damien, what does the P stand for super sentence? There's only one left and there must be spaces. It is spaces. You have to have finger spaces in between your words. All right. I told you. I always have finger spaces. I am. This is for all of the multiplication people. Okay. Hey, I'm going to pinch too. Like me. Okay. Take all of your show and tell things. Put them away. Put all your show and tell things away. Ready? Put it behind you. I'm going to put those. All right. Wait, let me put my Bring your eyes over here to focus. Hey, okay. come on, Take a deep breath and get centered. Here we go. Let's go. Number one, we're going to mark the sentence that is complete and written correctly. That means the sentence that you choose up here has to have all of this. Two of them will not be super sentences. Only one is a super sentence and you have to do it. Okay. Play very well. are, number one, plays very well. Jake plays soccer with his team. One of those super sentences. You mark it down. Shh. Mark it down. Okay, I'll mark it. Give me a thumbs up when you got it. I know. Mom cooks super hot dog. Mom cooks cooks. Okay, hold up, sweet baby. Hot dogs. Hold up. Mommy, Is Leia. Very good food. Is Leia? Is Leia? Hold up. Hold up. Now we'll go to number yeah, two. I have my pencil back. Okay. Two. Number two. Mom cooks supper, hot dogs on the grill, or very good food. One of those is a sentence. Mark it down for five seconds. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Number three, on the lawnmower, sometimes grass or grass. Which one is a super sentence? Mark it now. Gotcha. One time, remember, we're having a test. All right. Very good. The directions for the next part, Damien. That's the choice. Can you read those directions for us, Damien? Yeah. Mark the choice that changes the sentence into a question. Okay. We're turning a sentence, we're turning a statement into a question. Mm -hmm. a telling sentence into an asking sentence. How do we do that? Here are your choices for number four. Number four says, the leader is, wait, maybe I better read the choices first. The choices are, who is the leader or 
Where does the mayor live? Those are the choices. The question says, the leader is the mayor. Which of those is correct? Makes the statement. <laughs> singing. Very good. Number five choices. How does he feel or who serves the church? And number five says the pastor serves the church. This is the correct question. Lots of talking. Ms. Leia, can you read the directions for the next part? Yes, milk three compound words formed by the two now. So good at this. Number six, your choices are mailbox or box mail. And your questions you have the word box and you have the word mail. Which of those makes a really good compound word? The mailbox or box mail? Which is the compound word? <laughs> you have the word fire and the word man. If you put those together, do you get man fire or do you get fireman? Time to move to the back. Move to the back. I'm, I'm on the back. Austin, can you then read the directions for the first part? Matt. Mark. Mark. The part of the sentence that Needs. Needs a complete no, capital. capital letter. Very good. One of those words must have a capital letter. Why? Because it's a proper noun. Let's review. What's the difference between a common noun and a proper noun? When does a noun get a capital letter? Dania? Oh, a proper noun, what is it? Is a certain place thing? A certain person, place, or thing. That's what a capital, that's what a proper noun is. And what a normal noun is, is a person, place, or thing, but it's not specific. Exactly. Oh, I like the word specific. Great job. Kislea, did you have anything add, to add, or was that about where you were going with it? Well, that was good. That's what I was going to say. Very good. And also, there's pronouns. That well, yes, there are pronouns too, and those right. Those don't always get capital letters. Matt. Okay. Yeah. Number yeah. ten. The three blank played in the yard. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong way. Number eight. Which one of these gets a capital letter? Matt lives in Georgia. Now it's which one needs a capital letter because this one already has it. So that's not your answer. But one of these needs a capital letter. I'm missing one. You're like the teacher this time. The bad behavior Bob messed up on his paper and you have to fix it. Ready, ready. All right. I'm gonna fix it this And number nine says, Maya went to Camp Beaver. Now. One of them has it. Needs it. Find the one that needs it. You guys are doing great on this. Next directions. Whose turn is it to read the directions? Austin did it last time. I think it's Damien's turn. Damien, can you read the next directions? Or did you just do it? 
Uh, I'll read the next direction. Okay. Mark the correct form of the word to complete the sentence. All right. This one is going to be right in here. The R. What sounds right? What sounds right? Here are your choices. The three blank played in the yard. The three boy played in the yard or the three boys played in the yard? The three boy played in the yard or the three boys played in the yard? All right, number 11. The girl lost two boots or the girl lost two teeth? Which one is correct? And we may need to change that up and say, Tis Leia lost two tooths or Tis Leia lost two teeth? X, F, and it was just one? Yes. She had one I know. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Number 12, mom washed six blank. Six dishes or six dish? Six oh, dishes mom. or six <laughs> Very good. Yes, Tislaia, did you have a question? Um. If, if you like say like Austin washed six dishes or one um, or six dish. That's right, kind of like that. But if Austin, if Austin's washing dishes, come on over, Austin. I got a sink full. Okay. Mm. You can wash all mine. I like to wash dishes. <laughs> you don't. All right. Miss Tisley, you need to read the directions for the next part. A one, a two, a three, four, five. I know the sentence you want me to do. You read the directions? Mark Ooh. the sentence. Me? Yes, Tisleya. Mark the Mark sentence. It. Mark this sentence that is voting correctly. Very good. Correctly. There you go again. Gotta be that a super. Makes oh, the car, yeah. the mower, and the bike. Remember these? Yeah. Comma, comma, and? First one's a comma, comma, and. Dad so fixed, comma, and. Comma, Dad, comma, and. Dad fixed the car, comma, the mower, comma, and the bike. Or, dad fixed the car, the mower, the bike. Which one's correct? That doesn't make no sense. Which one doesn't make no sense? You want the one that does make sense. And number 14. This is one of these with sound like. The two men worked on the car. Or two men worked on the car. Which one's correct? Two men. Two men. Two men. And it's like this. Act like um Damien had two dads, and they are um, working on the car. Would it be man or men? There you go. There you go. You're destined to be a teacher, my darling. We need you in the field, Austin. Yes, ma'am. Directions for the I'm a dog to be a teacher. Very good. I'm a good teacher, but I don't Mark. They don't give lots of money. Circle. Oh, good teachers. I didn't oh, I didn't undermine the subject part. Sorry, Austin. I didn't mean to talk while you were working. Could you? Yeah, could you make sure your antlers are shined there, Austin? <laughs> I'm a little worried about dusty antlers. Okay, read it again. Read it again. All right. Can you read it again? Circle. I'm sorry, we were playing. Oh, no. Circle. Oh, no. 
action part, underline the subject part. And a circle the predicate, underline the subject. We've been working on just dividing these sentences in half. Come on, hold you on on the predicate. Either one will work fine, just as long as I know which is the subject and which is the predicate. Number 15, her mom folded the socks. Wait. The subject, show me the predicate. S above the subject, P above the predicate. P above the predicate. Mm. I'm sorry, um, I'm 16. My aunt made dinner. My aunt made dinner. What is the subject? What is the predicate? What is the what is the predicate? My aunt made dinner. My aunt made dinner. I'm ready for my next one. Dun, 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 dun. English 2, chapter 7. More nouns are listening. 29. This is And the last one. The dog ran fast. No, I we skip we skip sixteen. No, I didn't. My aunt made dinner. Aunt made dinner. Which one made? Oh, dinner. Oh. All right, ready. <laughs> Done. Yes. I'm fully done. Very good. Oh. Hey, remember, Friday we won't have a Zoom meeting. I'll put both of them on you because I I got to turn the book in. So no Zoom meeting on Friday, but the both of you videos. Um, okay. Science experiment still on Friday. Science lab on Friday, but that'll be a video too. Um, you're doing great. You know that <gasps> science. This is the pages. Give it your best guess. I want to see remember. This will tell me what to teach next year when we start. Some of you don't have your books. It's totally cool. All right. All right. I need a blessing going out. <gasps> I need to play Austin and then Demi play. Does anybody know whose turn it is? Yeah. Who's I think it's Leah. Tis Leah? Okay. Thank you. Because I can remember. All right, Tis Leah. Send it out with a nice blessing, friend. God, thank you for. Let me see my friend who's book and keep on the same good ones. I got a prize and the um and the ones I sick and the ones I got any kind of sickness and uh, and I just want you to um I, um I want to thank you for everything you do for us and all this in, in your name anyway. Very nice, very nice. Bye, boo boo. Bye, Sparkly. Bye, bye. Goodbye. The unicorn's name. Goodbye, all the dolls. Goodbye, Austin. Mwah. You got to name all the dolls. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.